Hello guys and welcome to a special video of City Skylines with me, Pug Gaming. Now you're probably wondering why I'm showing off a video of the new Google Earths update, but we can all use this greatly to our advantage. Whether you're a new player, whether you're an intermediate, whether you're a heavy detailer, this new update and the combination of using old features on Google Earth really can help you explore the game to its full potential and I want to let you know how. So the first bonus is you no longer need to download any software to run Google Earth. You can literally watch it in your browser. The second one is what you're seeing now. What you can now do is you can type in a location and Google Earth zooms right in and as you can see here we have 3D viewing. So not only do we get the top view where we can zoom in, you can now actually view various locations, pretty much all of the big areas in 3D. Now this opens up a variety of different experiences now. For example, this is the view that I'm using to build my Walking Dead Terminus series from The Walking Dead. And as you can see here, I can look around freely. I can use the control and alt keys to zoom around and I can pretty much work out how tall certain buildings are, what is actually placed in certain areas. There are some times on Google Maps, um, all the old Google Earth, where you couldn't quite zoom into certain locations to see what there was in that location. And it just opens up your imagination. If there's a few of you who are new to the game or whether you've been playing for many years, it's more of a case now that you can really get some huge inspiration from just looking on the maps and I know you could do that before but now you get the 3D option and the ability to zoom in and zoom around it just makes life a lot easier here we see the London skyline and you can see that you can pretty much zoom in anywhere all of it pretty much is 3D you can really really see the details in certain areas which should help both map creators asset creators and also city skyline detailers to really excel their ability in game. And one thing I really do love about this now is they've also updated locations that you probably won't get to go and see. Like you just saw there, the Eiffel Tower. There's not gonna be many opportunities for myself to go there, but I can see what's around it and sort of how all the cultural buildings are different to other locations. You saw the Heathrow Airport there. And one thing that's very interesting to take note of is the different style of housing layouts. For example, we'll start here from the UK and we can move along to various different locations and you can really see how sort of road layouts change and pretty much the actual buildings and what size of houses they are. That's what I find fascinating with this new Google Earth. It's really incredible and it's just a good way to inspire yourself. I know there's days where I have where you can't quite think of what to design or you're not quite getting something down and just having a quick look on, on Google really does help me open up my inspiration channels. And now that we have so much more detail in Google Maps, you can also use that to your ability to create overlays for maps. If you want to create a, a certain location like for like, you can pretty much take a screenshot or save the page and import it into various um, City Skyline mods such as the overlay mod and then bring it up on your map itself and pretty much design like for like what you see. So guys, that's the new Google Earth. I know it's a very short video and many of you probably already know about this but I just wanted to let you guys know that this is now available and there are features that can really benefit a City Skylines player. Whether you're a beginner and you don't know quite how to start your city or you're a heavy detailer looking for more inspiration it's certainly a new idea to get some more inspiration and on that note i'm going to leave you be thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you all very soon all the best